Hello again and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. I started to experiment around with Element 3D and the Metropolitan and Futuristic Building Pack. Today I am gonna show you how to put your green screen object into a 3D environment using the Element. And as you can see, this man is screaming in furious anger, because he can't find a free parking spot. Now, let's get started. To save some time I have already keyed the footage. Shut it off for the moment. Create a new solid and make it comp size. Call it element. Apply element and go to scene setup. Go to futuristic buildings. I choose the hangar. Then create a new camera. I go with 24 millimeters. Open group 1 and make sure that our hangar is set to group 1. Open up the particle replicator and the particle look. Let's increase the particle size and use the replicator options to bring the building into the right place. Use rotation as well to get the right perspective and position that you want. Let's make our building even a bit bigger. Now move it in Z space to bring it closer to the camera. Now we can use the camera tool to fly around with our camera. Let's turn on our green screen layer. Put it above the element 3D layer. Let's make it 3D. As you can see it's kind of floating around. This is not what we want and what this tutorial is mainly about. So, we need to pick the pan behind tool and move the anchor point of our layer to the very bottom, right between his feet. Now everything we change like the scale, will be orientated from the bottom. Next, find the spot where you want to place your green screen object. Go to the element layer and open up utilities. Click select 2D position and click that spot where you want to put him. Then click Generate. Now there is a null object. Press P to bring up the position options. Do the same with your green screen layer. Copy the position of the null object by pressing Ctrl C. Paste it on the green screen layer by pressing Ctrl V. Then, press S for the scale. Now you can scale your layer so it fits in your scene. Now it will be standing in this particular position when you are moving around with the camera. Now, let's start animating our camera. Bring up the transform settings and make a keyframe for every parameter at the very beginning of our comp. Use the camera tool again to find a good starting point for our camera move. Go to the end of your scene and find a good ending point for the move. Now, let's see what we've got so far. Now let's bring in some more buildings. 
I will only pick two just to show you how it's done. And make sure that you put them on group 2. Open up group 2 and bring them into position so you can see them. Make it a plane and increase the particle count. Increase the scale shape and move them around to place them where you want to have them. You can increase the particle count even a little bit more. Bring up the particle look and increase the particle size random. It can take a little bit time till you find the right position and perspective for your buildings. Now let's bring in our background. This one comes with the Metropolitan Pack. Put it to the very bottom of your comp. Make it 3D and push it way back into Z space. Now let's put some light to one of those antennas. Create a new solid and call it flare. Apply optical flares. Go to options. I will pick up reset. Press F4 to bring up the transfer mode. Choose it. In source type of the flare choose 3D. Now let's apply the flare to this antenna. Back in Element Utilities choose the spot like we did before with the Select 2D Position option. Click the antenna and a generate. There we have a new null object. Bring up the position. Now copy X, Y, and Z to the position of optical flares. Then put the flare above the element layer. Play around with the brightness and scale. And let's give it a more visible color. Turn on the flicker amount. Now go to Camera Options and turn on Depth of Field. Make a K-frame for the focus distance and the aperture. Find the focus distance you want to have. I don't want to have my object in focus right here, so let's make a K-frame. I want him to be in focus when the camera is here. So play around with the focus distance until our object is in focus. So I hope you ain't mad at me because I will not cover the whole compositing process with Element 3D in this tutorial. I wanted to show you how to integrate live action footage into a 3D environment. You can put more buildings in the background, add more lens flares and color correct and I bet you will come up with some great action packed scenes. Well, I have that feeling that my English sucked today. But I hope you had fun and learned something new. Let me know what you want to learn next in the comments. And don't forget to smack that like button and subscribe. I will be back very soon. Peace out.